Well, lots going on this coming weekend. Uh, we just talked about those two wonderful concerts in support of Ukraine. And there's also Jane's Walk coming up both May 7th and 8th. And here to tell us more about it, I am joined by Kelly McGurin um, from Jane's Walk, Ottawa, Gatineau. Welcome to the show, Kelly. Great to have you here. And um, Kelly, th this is uh, obviously in, um, you know, to pay uh, honor to, to Jane Jacobs. For those that aren't familiar with Jane, tell us about Jane's story. Sure. Thanks for having me on the show. So um, Jane Jacobs was an American Canadian activist, urbanist, journalist. She lived a long time in Greenwich Village at a time when it's post-World War II. We've got the expansion of cities into these sleepy suburbs. And what's required now is these mega highways to come into these cities and she was appalled at this, this approach to urban planning. And mm. so she led some grassroots movements and actually ended up, uh, without any formal training in, in city planning, fighting um, a highway called the Lower Manhattan Expressway. And it ended up being cancelled. And fast forward to the late 60s, she moves to Toronto and doesn't she play a key role in getting um, a mega highway in Toronto, which would have been called the Spadina Expressway, she ends up getting that cancelled too. So she is someone who successfully fought City Hall, and she uh, wrote a, a, a book called The Death and Life of Great American Cities in 1961, and it's a, kind of a go-to book for current city planning because she advocated for diversity, mixed use um, neighborhoods, locally driven economies. And um, she talked about, you know, the fact that these vibrant multi-use neighborhoods were in fact safer for people than uh, separating where we live, where we work and where we play, that it should all be right. in one place. And Kelly, it's ironic when you look at, you know, developments today. Uh, you know, I know that the, the city has a new master plan, but, you know, you look at some of these developments that, we, that we've created, there's no such thing as a 15-minute walk in so many of these places. So, you know, Jane did, did some wonderful work, but the work needs to continue, and that's why the walk is important. So let, let's talk about the walk and, and its purpose. Sure. So Jane's Walk started in honor of Jane Jacobs. Her birthday is in May. So the year after she passed away, which was 2006, Toronto launched the first Jane's Walk Festival. And the concept is it's free. It's totally grassroots. It's um, a series of walking events that are led by anyone with a passion or an interest in some aspect of a neighborhood park, it could be inner city, it could be out in, say, in Ottawa, in the Ottawa area, the Gatineau Park right. or anything like that. So mm -hmm. it's someone who, you know, this year we've got a number of people who do have interests in history, obviously, but we've got a musician, we've got um, uh, a radio personality, we've got um, uh, self-confessed tree lovers and plant lovers who nice. are out there uh, retired scientists who are going to be giving walks. So we as volunteers, we organize the thing and we promote the thing, but it's really all about people who come forward and propose walks to us. And um, it started in Toronto, as I said, but it has now grown into over 100 cities in wow. 2018 That's and amazing. worldwide. So, And it's, yeah, a bit, it's, it's a bit of a smaller festival this year, uh, but um, a new registration system as well along with that. Uh, tell us about the new registration system, Kelly. Yeah, so we had to do things a little bit differently because we're just coming back post-pandemic and we wanted to be careful about launching the same type of event we'd had before which was basically um, come one, come all. Right. So we, we figured we'd have a registration system to try and manage the numbers, and we are recommending people wear masks so that okay. everyone's comfortable. And um, this year we've also done um, something different, which is uh, we've, we've had a lot more French walks this year. So we've got nine out of 28 of our walks are being held in French, both on the Gatineau and the Ottawa side. Are, are there and specific routes, also, Kelly? I know it's the year of the garden, and you know you're encouraging people to to go yeah. on walks and enjoy. Do you have specific routes that you that you share with people that register? 
Yes, we do. Okay. And uh, so we have um, the one that you just put up there, the picture that's Les Allumetières, which is the old E.B. Eddy site oh, in yes. Gatineau. Yeah. The, the E.B. Eddy site in Old Hull. And uh, that's going to be an interesting talk about the history of that site, the women and girls who work there, the conditions that they worked under, and the role that played in Canadian labor laws. That's fascinating. My grandfather actually worked at E.B. Eddy. Uh, he was in a managerial, but so uh, that that might be the walk I'm going to connect with uh, to find out more well, about the you history. Should go. Kelly, you should absolutely yeah, absolutely. Go. Kelly, really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we brought up the website. Thank you very much. Uh, you're very welcome. Brought up the website. Make sure you register ahead of time. We'll be back with more after this.